From the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Hello. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Thursday and time for an edition of Like is 101. Well, it's like is 101. Welcome to the class. Spend less dough and get more ass. If baby wants steak, baby got to wait because I ain't spending more than $40 on a date. Yeah. Buy ya, lick it, don't buy ya. B, if she answers the cell phone, disappear. Yeah. Want to get laid? Gotta be an oh. asshole. Spike, use prophylactic, switch to Tabasco. Hit it, quit it, no time to spoon. These are the rules of Professor Poon. Got to knock out, but you look in the switch. Pull a Hail Mary and dump that bitch. Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Huh? Why? Kiss 101. Why? Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Huh? Why? Kiss 101. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I'm your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of like it's 101. It's uh, the summer session of like it's 101. And many of you have been left back because you've been failing. Many of you have been uh, going against the rules of the professor. Many of you uh, young ones uh, think you know more than the professor, and uh, some of you have found out the hard way that your professor has more experience than you do. Your professor made every mistake for you and comes here to the classroom to tell you how to avoid making the same mistakes. It is not necessary to put your hand on the fire to find out you're going to get burned. Your professor already made every mistake in the book except for one. Your professor, to his knowledge, never had a baby. By the way, let's remind you that having a baby is out. It's out. Uh, this is all about getting laid. And I don't care how hot a piece of ass you find, having a baby is just not part of the plan. It's not in the equation. Forget it. Four, get it. If some chick you're boning decides she wants to get pregnant or tells you she doesn't want to use birth control or tells you you don't need a condom, don't worry, she's got it all taken care of, don't believe it. And don't do what she says. Don't do it. Women lie all the time and say they're on the pill or they tell you the doctor, I told them they can't get pregnant. They'll say anything in order to get you to knock them up. Ever wonder why more women don't go to uh, fertility clinics or sperm banks when they want to get pregnant? Why do they uh, get knocked up by accident? The answer is simple. Because a turkey baster can't pay child support. That's why. They want to have a baby and they want you to pay. Quote, unquote, step up to the plate. Quote, unquote, live up to your responsibility. You cannot give your DNA in the form of sperm. You cannot give it to anyone because it is like giving somebody uh, the uh, passcode to your ATM card. It's like giving somebody uh, uh, a blank check. It's like giving somebody, uh, you know, a blank uh, credit card with no signature on it with your name on the front and they can sign your name and then they can go charge anything they like. You cannot be giving your sperm away. That means there's no pull-out methods. There is no, uh, uh, you know, oh, yes, we'll just do without a condom tonight, but tonight only, or every other time, or only once in a while. You have to use a condom 100% of the time. I am not telling you this to give you an AIDS lecture or, a, uh, uh, you know, a sexually transmitted disease lecture or anything like that. 
that you guys believe or don't believe that you're going to have those things happen to you if you don't use a condom, that's fine. What I'm telling you is that if you don't use a condom, you'll get the worst disease of all. She'll be pregnant, and you will be in poverty, and nobody wants that disease. Seriously speaking. Seriously speaking. No having babies. No deals to have babies. None of these no-strings-attached deals. None of these Craigslist deals where somebody says, all you have to do is go over and have sex with me the next two months, but I'm fertile, and that's it. There'll be nothing asked. Forget it. Get laid the old-fashioned way. Treat a woman like crap. Go to her place. Use a condom every single time. Then get the hell out of there. That's it. Simple as that. Like as one of one students must remember that dating equals porking. The purpose of dating is to get laid. It isn't to have babies. It isn't to get married. It isn't to start a relationship. It isn't to have a conversation with somebody about anything. It isn't to listen to them bitch about their, their boss or their ex-boyfriend or tell you how cute their puppy dog is or their kitty cat. That isn't the purpose of dating. The purpose of dating is to get laid, buster. If you have a date planned for this weekend and getting laid is not part of the equation, if you're not certain that your purpose there is to get laid, cancel it now. Never forget your priority, son, and your priority is going on a date is to get laid. That's the purpose, to get laid. No two ways about it, it's to get laid. I can't make this point clearly enough. You are not going to give her money. You're not going to spend money. You are not going to waste your energy or your time on chicks who don't put out. Uh, the like is what a one student believes in the three strikes you're out rule. That means if she doesn't put out the first three dates, you kick her ass to the curb, move on to the next. It's that simple. As your professor, I'm not a marriage counselor. I'm not here to help you fix your marriage or fix your relationship. God knows I know nothing about that. My job is to help you stay out of relationships, stay out of commitment, stay out of marriages, and just get laid. And you can get laid without agreeing to say I love you. You can get laid without getting married to somebody. You can get laid without letting her move in with you. You don't want her moving in with you ever, ever, ever. Because she will turn your house into the Roach Motel. And you know what the Roach Motel is like, right? Roaches check in, but they never check out. And that's what your house is going to be like. Think of your house like a big sugar bowl. If you leave the lid off the sugar bowl, roaches are going to try to get into that sugar. And you know, once the roaches get into the sugar bowl, I don't know if you've ever lived in a crappy apartment with roaches. Once the roaches get into the sugar bowl, you're never completely sure they're out of the sugar bowl. You can't just go, you know, gently fingering around inside there to see if you can find the roaches and pluck them out. You got to throw out all the sugar. Your home's a sugar bowl. Chicks are roaches. When you take the lid off, the roaches are coming out. Don't let them into your sugar bowl. Don't. The purpose of going on a date is to get laid. And you, you are a pussy with no game if the only way you can get laid is by telling a woman I love you. If the only way you can get laid is by telling a woman, oh, sure, you can live at my place just Monday through Friday, and then on the weekend we can do our own thing. Sure. No. The answer is no. You're not sharing a place. You're not going to be a sperm donor and help her have a baby. You're not going to let her move in and sleep on your couch temporarily. This stuff all has to go. These are the marks of a man with no game. Other marks of a man with no game, let me tell you, ever painted a bitch's apartment? You've got no game. Ever helped a bitch move on the weekend, like packed her things and helped her move to another location? Used your truck or rented a truck for her or the... No game. You're a pussy. Ever lent or given a chick money, especially like hundreds or even thousands of dollars? Pussy. You've got no game. I mean, there's many, many ways to tell that a guy is a complete pussy and has no game. And many of you guys do this all the time. You don't want to hear her talking about her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend, her ex-husband. If you sit and listen to crap like that, you've got no game. 
If you agree to keep dating somebody who never puts out, you've got no game. If you are constantly apologizing for where you live or apologizing for your car, if you're constantly walking around embarrassed, you got no goddamn game. You're a pussy. It's that simple. My job as your professor is to help you avoid commitment, avoid relationships, avoid marriage, to avoid wasting time, money, and energy on chicks who just, right? They want what you have. They want to get into relationships, and they want what you have. You have to avoid this. Hit them and quit them. Pump them and dump them. That is your job. And I, as your professor, am here at the front of this classroom to tell you how to do that. If you've got questions for your professor on how to get laid using a minimum of time, energy, and money, call 1-800-5800-TOM. If you disagree with your professor, whether you're a man or a woman, you can call 1-800-5800-866. If you are taking this course from another country and you need another telephone line because the 1-800 number doesn't work where you are, here's our international number for listeners in other countries, other continents. Your country code is 1, the area code 323, the number 520-6211. That number again, if you're calling from out of the country, outside the United States, 1-323-520-6211. All right, students, let the class begin. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Likas 101 ought to be a required course for every child entering elementary school. And then they should give it to them again in junior high. And they should give them a refresher course in high school. And if they ever make it to college, which I'm afraid most of your listeners don't, they should teach an advanced course. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Nikki. I'm Likas 101 with your professor. Hello. Hello. I have a question for you. Have you ever been a woman? Thank goodness, no. Okay. So you have no point of reference to be able to speak on behalf of them. When did I speak on behalf of women? You make you make statements that speak on behalf of women. Such as? When you say statements like, if a woman wanted to get pregnant, they don't go to fertility areas. They That's don't right. go to sperm banks. That's right. Because... They don't pay child support. That's correct. A, a, that's a turkey baster, a turkey baster, baster can't pay women. child support. No, it's not. That's speaking. For that's women. speaking the exactly. truth. No, it's speaking. Yes, for women. it is. See, you don't know why. A yes, woman I gets do. Pregnant. Yes, I you do. You know why your women. No, I know why pregnant. women get pregnant, and I you know, know why, why they get the pregnant. Women, uh, I know why they get pregnant by a human instead of by a petri dish, and that's because right. a petri dish can't pay child support. Right. Well, that may be your limited experience with No, women. that's pretty much the way it is. Well, the way it is in your world is what you've been exposed to. Right. So why don't, in you, your world, why don't you educate us here, exploding. Nikki? Tell us why you got pregnant by a guy. Did I say I did? Well, then what do you know about it? Because I don't think you have a right. What do you know about it if you've never done it? To make a You're in no position. You're in no more pregnant. position to comment than I am because you've never gotten well, pregnant. I never said I got pregnant. You made that. That's my point. So if you me, never, well, you, you would have had to I because had to here did. you are criticizing me uh, for commenting on people who've gotten pregnant by guys they were having sex with. And then you yourself say you haven't done it. No. What I'm saying is you made the assumption I did without asking. I can make, make you know what? Stop. I don't want to hear your critique of the program, okay? If you have something to say it's about. It's not my critique of the yes, program. Yes, it is. What it is. Yes, is it women, is. There are many women and many men that have had long, happy marriages and have been. And many happy more who haven't. Have a partner many their more whole life. who haven't. Right. But the thing is. To make a general statement saying you that have to That is generally true. All. Yes, it's generally okay. true. 
to make a general statement. It's a general statement. It then general statements are generally true. No, because yes. all people with big noses aren't from a certain parts of the world. And making a general whoever said statement that? that everyone with a big nose comes from a certain statement. Of when the, whoever world. said that? Well, I'm just saying that's a general statement and it's wrong. Uh, when I, mean, I tell you what, I made a general statement that's true. Yeah, and that general statement... It's generally true. It, 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 it cheats your listeners. Half of all marriages end in divorce. Right. And there are many more so, people whose marriages don't end in divorce who are miserable, but they stay married for the benefit of the kids because it's too expensive to get a divorce, because right. their church frowns on it, because their parents are going to freak out. Right. So the bottom line is that the majority of people who get married are dissatisfied. Well, it cheats your listeners to say that you are not an advocate for relationships or I'm marriage not. and that if you I'm are an advocate for that, getting laid that's the problem no it's the not problem a problem is, no it's not a problem people it's not a problem well it's not a problem because you love getting laid to completely avoid it right and they're happy they call up and tell me how happy they are well a certain percentage that get through here may be happy. Oh, they I may see. Be telling you what you want. Just hear. a certain percentage, and the ones who are uh, who are uh, happy, uh, they're not calling. They do all the time, and they tell you that, and you tell them they're lying. Well, most of the ones who call in are unhappy, and they're glad they got out, and they brag about dumping that bitch, and they talk about getting more ass now than a toilet seat. You've heard it. As a rule. I would say that the percentage on that is below 20. I, I, as a rule, I think you're talking out of your ass. You have no idea what the numbers are. Well, I also don't make general statements about men because I haven't been one. Well, you're not, you, know, you know why you're not making them? Because you're not broadcasting to a broad audience of broads. Right. So, and, and I have four and a half million listeners here. And you know what? Uh, I, you have to make general statements. I can't do a show that is on a case-by-case -case basis of all four and a half million people who tune in. I can't. I have to make general statements. That's the rule of broadcasting. That's the way it works. Right. But you're making general If you knew anything about my business, uh, you would know that that's how it works. Now you're talking about something you know nothing about. Absolutely. That's why I don't make general statements. Well, I'm statements telling you. No, it. no, no. You're not making general statements because you don't have a talk show talking to millions of people. That's why you don't. I do. So basically, it's because it sells. No, basically, well, it does sell, but the right. reason is because you're talking to millions of people. So you have to generalize. That's the way it works. Right. But basically, what you're doing sells. And it promotes it, even if... Well, it wouldn't sell if people didn't agree with it. Well, I would say... Just because you disagree, thing. you're not in the target demographic. The fact that you disagree tells me I'm doing it right. Well, it's not that I disagree with you. I just don't know how you have a point of reference to make a oh, so you, ag so you ag women. So you agree with me? No. Well, do Absolutely. you disagree or do you agree? I disagree with the things that you say and where your point of reference is and i agree that you're a broadcaster and you make general and the general statements that i make are generally right. true the reason so the i know they are generally true is because the target demographic of the show which you are not in the target demographic of the show calls and writes and they tell us all the time how happy they are following my advice the other thing that tells us that i'm on the right track is that this show is number one in its target demographic number one in Los Angeles, number one in Southern California. And so it doesn't really matter what you think because the target audience has spoken and they know I'm right, even if you don't like the truth. Well, they, they like listening to you, but you may not be right. They yeah. like listening. And believe me, if I were constantly wrong about things, they would not be listening in such large numbers as they do. Hang on a second. Eric, what did you want to say here to Nikki? Hey, Tom, what's going on? Not much. Uh, she just said that happily married people don't call in and don't, you know, listen to your show and whatnot. I'm happily well, I said, married I said, going on six in. years. I, granted, I haven't had the gut check yet, but my wife and myself both agree with you all the time. Even though we're married, it's kind of hypocritical, but we still agree. When people say, should we get married, they ask us for advice. We tell them, no, have fun first. Get married when you're good and ready. My, I have a three-year-old son, and he listens to you like crazy, too. Every time he's in the car, he listens to you. And we're going to bring them up the Tom way. There you go, Nikki. I, I understand that that there's a point 
for getting married, and there's a point where you make a bad decision because you're not old enough to make it yet. I'm not arguing that. What I'm arguing is to say that bitches are only after your money. Bitches only want to get pregnant. If they're bitches, bitches that's true. Want, because exactly. bitches want child That's support. how they became bitches. That exactly. It's not your point. a point of reference. See, she's assuming that I'm saying every woman is a bitch, which, of course, I never said. And, Eric, as a man, you understand that. Bitches. Yeah. You said that. I'm referring to bitches. It's true. And it's true. Okay. So the thing is, I, I agree with the fact that people are not ready to get married until they have a firm grasp of who they are. No, they don't and need to get married ever. Men do not no need to get married. To, at this My wife point, even says though, there's no benefit to getting married, and we're married. Okay. There, the, the problem is, is that you're married, so you can't talk. So What do you mean he can't talk? He's been single and he's been married. Of course he can talk. I There's no reason to get married. Why doesn't he get a divorce? There's Who knows? Maybe he will. <laughs> okay, he doesn't get a divorce because he probably, he probably loves his wife. By the way, uh, now it, my wife. By the way <laughs> even if he wanted to get a divorce, it's too late because now he's going to find out if he gets a divorce how little benefit there is because he'll have to pay to get out. Yeah. So, well, maybe he I mean, will, maybe he won't. But no, chances he will. Are, chances are... He loves his wife. So what? And his wife is a great partner. So what? And his wife is a loving companion. So what? And his wife has a good idea. So he won the lottery. Life. Very nice. Uh, does that mean everybody that should buy a ticket? Is why. What? Because he is experiencing all of the great things that marriage But is. even he says I'm right. Well, he says you're right, but if... First of all, watch your mouth. We're on the air. You said it. You no, you said that is that. not what I said. And if you try using that word again, we're going to dump you off the air altogether. You're not to use that word in that context again. Okay, well, you used yeah, it. Again, okay. I, I get you. You're not hearing me. If you use it again, you will be gone for good. I understand. I understand. You do not use that word in that context on okay. this program. All right. I understand. I, you used it, so I didn't No, know I did not use it in that context. And, and you will not either. Okay. No problem. I, if I say someone is a pussy, uh, that's one thing. That's not the context in which you use that word. Oh, okay, I get it. You are not allowed to use it in that context. You know what context means? Mm-hmm. Well, then why is it I said arguing. it three? It took me saying it get three it. times before you understood. No, I understand what you mean by context. Right. So at this point, it since he's not like doing the rooster that, can say cock a doodle right. do okay the the rooster can say that but but that's the only way you can use that word on the air. I got it. What? I'm, I'm totally under, understanding yeah. that. So at this point, though, for being someone who's happily married and someone who loves his wife very much, and he's agreeing with you, and even he agrees, orders, even he agrees. Right. So in other words, you're telling he's one of the rare. Lottery winners, Eric, you understand married. what I'm talking about, so I want to talk to you. Uh, Eric is one of the rare lottery winners. He won, he's happy, but he knows that he was lucky to be as, as happy as he is, and that most guys will not be as lucky as he is. Exactly, oh, really? but in I the same respect, that. I haven't had the gut check either. How, I haven't hit the 10-year mark. How, how, how is it that both you and Eric know that he's just lucky and that maybe it's just your women, Tom? Because so many bad. people are getting divorced. Well, yep. a lot of people are getting divorced, okay? But if I just you're said a 50 that. 50-50 shot, that's a lot better than the No, lottery. it's really not. Uh, and by the way, it's 50-50 of getting a divorce. Uh, there are many other people who stay married who are also miserable, uh, people who tolerate abuse, beatings, uh, people who uh, are afraid to get a divorce because they're afraid of paying alimony or child support, people who are afraid of hurting their children or having their parents yell at them. Many people stay married for a variety of reasons, even though they are miserable. So that puts the, the, the thing over 50%. Yeah. Right, but there's uh, also people that are single, shift. and there are people that aren't married that are very lonely. So out of your fifty, but but the fact is, they can I always have friends. They can, by the way, they can always that. they can always have friends. And by the way, uh, most people I know who are not married are not lonely. They're very happy doing whatever they want, whenever they want. 
well. At this point in time, I know a lot of people. I mean, I understand that your group of friends. By the way, I might add that I'm not the only one who feels that way because for the first time since the United States Census began being taken in 1790, the majority of households are headed by a, a single individual. And for the first time since the census began being taken in 1790, and these are facts from the United States government, by the way, and they can be checked. Uh, for the first time, the majority of women are unmarried. Mm -hmm. First time ever. So a lot of people feel the way I do, and less and less people feel the way you do. Well, I, I don't. I don't think that. I think what's happening is we are seeing a different trend. That's for sure. But as yeah, what trend is that? What trend is that? We're seeing more of a trend where. Back in the 50s, people stayed in relationships, and marriage was something that lasted a lifetime, whether you liked it or not. Now we have people that are getting out of relationships. Right. They are Back in the 50s and they're, before, they're they were hostages. They're, they were chained up in, in, in a prison cell, right. and now they're not required to stay chained in a prison cell anymore. Right. But we also have people that aren't committed anymore either. So we have a whole... Well, whatever the reason, it doesn't matter. The new Whatever the reason, to, it doesn't matter. Really doesn't understand. It doesn't matter what the re doesn't matter what the reason is. You know what? You can only sit in the soup you're sitting in. Okay, if you're a noodle, you're sitting in chicken noodle soup. That's the way it works. You're not going to be sitting in split pea. You're going to be in chicken noodle. The, we're in chicken noodle soup right now. That's where we are. Uh, the, the, what you just described, if you're saying people aren't able to commit, to the, well, no, great, that's the world we live in now. So, therefore, if that's the world we live in now, my advice is right. No, actually it isn't because the problem is. Oh, is so we're going to change the later world? Later on in life. We should be changing the world. down the line, you may have somebody like Eric found that's a lovely companion. Or you likely, instead, likely instead advice. of that, you'll be sending a check to somebody who doesn't even talk to you anymore. That's what's, when you're, if you're a man, that's what's more likely to be happening. Well, in the event it does or it doesn't, considering it's a 50 50 thing. Why would we want to send um, checks to somebody like you? Okay. Well, um, nobody sends checks to me, so it doesn't matter. Well, but the point is, somebody like you. Well, at this point in time, I can tell you that um, that Eric found a lovely wife, and he's a happily married Fine. man. Fine. Yeah, somebody, and, somebody will win $130 million in the lottery this weekend. It probably well, won't be you. $130 million is one in 850000 I think that the divorce rate and the successful marriage rate's a lot better odds than that. Ah, uh, I see. So we're supposed to play it like we're in Las Vegas. No, you did. I, You're the one that I said that. Put it this way. I guarantee my own happiness by not getting into another relationship. I am happy today. I'll be happy tomorrow. I'll be happy a year from tomorrow. You know, and that's a lot more than I can say for a lot of the poor suckers who are married. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You'll be glad to know when I did the DTB email I got from my girl said, and if I hear the name Tom Likas one more time, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. I am your professor, Danielle, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? This, this is da um, Danielle, and uh, I was calling because you were discussing earlier about. The What's that noise in the background? Is that the radio? That actually, I am standing in a store in Salzers. So, sorry about the background noise. Um, Why can't you leave the store to talk to me? Um, I can go downstairs and do that. If you can hold on just one moment. Well, I'll tell you what. You hold on, and I'll go to the next call while while you do that. Jesus. Susanna on Lagos 101. Hello. Yes. Hello, Tom. Yes. Yes. Hi. It's very nice talking to you. I know. Um, well, I just have one question for you. I think many of the things that you're saying makes a lot of sense, to especially to our young men, you know, who get women pregnant. There's no need for that. But one thing that I would like to advise your listeners is if they think that they don't want to get married and have children, 
They better get a vasectomy. Well, I agree. Uh, many people have a hard time finding a doctor who will do one if they haven't had children. Uh, we have talked about this, and I do recommend it. But uh, by the same token, I still think that guys need to use condoms. And guys need to make sure the person they're with, at least they need to make an attempt to find out if they're using birth control, and they should have both methods available. Absolutely, I agree with you. I mean, there are three things that you never get enough in life, money, beauty, and sex. Yes. So I agree 100% with you, but please, can you make it very clear to your listeners? When's the last time you got laid, by the way? Pardon me? When's the last time you got laid? Oh, you know what? I mean, I'm in a monogamous marriage. I'm a physician. Oh, so it must be months now, huh? Pardon me, I'm a mom. I have two kids. So it must I be agree. years. Pardon me? It must be years that you got laid. Not at all. Please, no. Let's be decent to each other, okay? I'm being decent. Yeah. I'm asking no, you no. the last time you had sex. What's the big deal? Are you... Maybe two uh, days ago? Two days ago. Yes. Really? So, yes. Okay. And then let me tell That's you something. Good. How being was it? Rude, being rude to each other doesn't make sense. You're here, not, you're doing a, What's rude about doing, asking? I'm okay. asking an honest you're question. Doing a radio broadcast. We're mature we adults. Do. We can talk yes. about this. Absolutely. You I do what for a living? Pardon me? You do what for a living? What do you uh, do? I'm a physician. You're a physician who's uncomfortable talking about sex. Amazing. No, not, no, no, I'm sorry. No, I called you not to talk oh, about oh, sex. You can ask guy. people about sex, but they can't ask you. I see. I'm sorry. See, you cannot twist words, okay? What words You're did I twist? Lawyer, you cannot twist words. I didn't twist Please any words. I what words did I twist? Okay, can you talk or me talk? One of us talk. No, I'll tell you what. Don't tell me how to do the show, okay? okay. I won't tell you. Know you I won't you tell you how to do a medical know. exam. You don't tell you me how to do a show. You're a rocket scientist, okay? You got married yeah, four guess, times. yeah, but I can buy and sell you, so it's just as good as being a rocket scientist. Oh, my God. You know what? You have been married four times, so that itself shows that you're... But I haven't paid any business. alimony or child support, so I know something about something. Ha, ha, ha. That is really funny, Tom. You know what? If you want to be rude to each other, we can. But if you want... Well, we didn't start out rude. You were the one who started getting upset when I asked basic questions. Basic questions a physician should be comfortable answering. Absolutely. I'm sure you ask your patients all the time whether they're having sex and how it is and how how, how it's going. I'm sure you ask those questions. You know what, Tom? I just called you to make a very innocent statement that could you convey to your boys Make sure you have a vasectomy or a good protection because I see these guys. I've told them. Okay, thank you very much. But by by the same token, uh, your sex life is on the table just like mine is or anybody else's. No, I'm sorry. I wouldn't want to discuss about that. Why not? Probably Probably nothing to talk about. Jesus. Unbelievable. A physician who doesn't like talking about sex. Jesus. Imagine, imagine you, uh, it was kind of burning down there, so you go to the doctor. No, we don't want to talk about that. No, we don't. We're not going to talk about your, 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 your junk downstairs. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Take an aspirin and call me in the morning. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Let's see if Danielle ever got outside the store here. Hello. Hi, I'm right here. Yes. Hey, I was calling because um, earlier when you started the show, you were discussing um, how women sometimes dupe guys into getting pregnant. Um, I said that women who don't use birth control want to have a baby. And that sometimes they say that uh, they're using, they've got it taken care of. To the boys out there, you need to put a cover on it or don't do anything. Well, that's what I tell them. And um, I've never duped a guy into getting pregnant before, but I do have three children, and I got pregnant each time being on the pill. Well, maybe you should have got on another form of birth control after the pill failed the first time. Oh, I did. The second time we were using a condom, too. No, no, you should know. You should have changed to another form of birth control other than the pill because clearly, for whatever reason, it doesn't work for you. Oh, I have. Now I'm using the IUD and it works. Yeah, but you waited until you had three kids to start using an IUD. Well, we wanted to have the kids, for one. Oh, there we go. So you're proving my point again. 
but it was planned together. But just as an aside, yeah, the guys need to. to if you didn't want to have babies, you would have done something about uh, stepping it up after you had the first one. You would have uh, switched to another form of birth control. The reason you didn't is because you wanted to have babies. Yes, it's very true. There we go. So, but yes, to as you were saying to the guys, um, definitely watch your watch your own back. Don't right. don't uh, blame it on the woman. Take responsibility for it. And to to the women who your mouth were on the air. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Um, that's bull. So, um, that I, my opinion is that, uh, now your thing is that you're distracted by something that's going on in the background and now you've run out of things to say. So I'm going to uh, perform caller euthanasia here. I'm going to be the Jack Kevorkian of telephone calls, putting you out of your misery. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Monica on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. How are you, Tom? Great. I'm actually calling. This is my first time listening to you. You're just an absurd, unprofessional guy. Oh, that I'm unprofessional. The radio. Well, if I'm unprofessional, how did I become the number one broadcaster in Southern yeah, California? How did I? How did I do that? Only stupid Mexican people that have no life. Ooh, stupid Mexican you, people. Well, are, I, are, are you listening to? What does that make you? Know, it doesn't, yeah, I'm not a Mexican. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, you're I'm just stupid. Oh, I okay. see. You're just another stupid person. You're just not Mexican. No, I'm not a stupid person. Well, you said the only people listening to me are stupid no, Mexicans. That's no, what you said. Excuse me? You just said, don't make me play the tape back, the only people who listen to me are stupid Mexicans. You just said that. No, Okay, yeah, but I mean... I but but other listen. stupid people like you also listen, is that right? Excuse me? Other stupid people like you also listen, correct? No, actually, I'm not stupid. Well, so you just said the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Said, let's use... Let's you. use... Ge no, yeah, let's use geometric logic, okay? Well, <laughs> well for, first of all, you said only stupid Mexicans listen to me. That's That's number one. Number two... Uh, you said that uh, you're not Mexican, so that means you, you you either are, as you say, these are your words, you're either a stupid Mexican, or maybe it's just stupid people listen, some of them happen to be Mexican, and, and some of them happen to be you. I just, okay, I didn't call to argue about... Well, I don't care what you called to do, but that's what you did. You called up and started arguing with me about this. You called up and made a racist statement on the air. And then you expected me, don't you, don't tell me how to do this program. I don't need your help. Here you are calling in and calling me unprofessional. I have the number one show. I think I know more. I think I know more about how to be a professional in this business than you do. I'm not calling the reference of your show. Get it clear. Yeah, well, you uh, you said that I was unprofessional. What profession am I unprofessional at? You know what? I'm not calling about that. I'm you said I'm un... Did you say I'm unprofessional? Did you say I'm unprofessional? Did you say that? Did you say I'm unprofessional? Did you say I'm unprofessional? This is your last chance to answer. Did you say I'm unprofessional? Yes or no? Did you say that? Goodbye. You know I've got the button. You know it. I mean, you're you're like the it's like the freeway chase. The guy's going to run out of gas eventually. The cops are going to get him. Why would you ever engage in a freeway chase with the police? They're going to hunt you down. They're going to get you. And with a caller, don't keep trying to talk over me because I've got the button. I will assassinate your your call. That's it. Done. Jesus. First, she says, I've got nothing but stupid Mexicans listening. Well, if you say I've got nothing but stupid Mexicans listening, and you are listening, that means you are, and these are her words now, not mine, then you must be a quote-unquote stupid Mexican. Then she says she's not Mexican. So then, if all I have is stupid Mexicans listening, she's not Mexican. Maybe what she meant is, I just have stupid people listening. Mexicans, her... <laughs> But she couldn't understand the logic of that. Just amazing. Jesus Christ. And then she said she doesn't listen to the show. But if she wasn't listening to the show, how did she know the phone number? 
How did she know I was doing a show? How did she know to call in? How did she know what I was talking about? Because she lied. She was listening to the show. And she is stupid. The Tom Likas Show.